2022 is right around the corner as we are about to begin the final month of the year and this year has been a wild ride for mobile gaming. There are so many titles that we've either played for another region or simply haven't played at all. It's your boy Chaotic and in this video, I'm going to share some of the games that I'm hoping to see in the year of 2022. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment with your thoughts and opinions as well as subscribe to show support for the growth of this channel. Anyways, let's get it popping. The first game that I'm going to mention has been available in China for quite a while and it just released in Japan as well, but we haven't heard any news of a global version just yet. Artery Gear Fusion is another wonderful RPG waifu simulator with epic special abilities and a ton of grind. This game is a chibi style type of game, but it has a lot to it from the gameplay that I've seen. I've also played the game quite a bit when it released in China, but the Japanese version showed how much, uh, <laughs> how much thick was missing from that version of the game. I'm hoping that we get to see a global version release in 2022 so that we can experience all of the things that this game has to offer. Now, this next game has yet to be released anywhere, but I have to admit, it has left quite the impression on me. Everything from its sick PV and quality anime style has caught my attention very, very early on. Currently under the temporary title Project Nightingale, this game is as anime as it gets. It appears that this PV has a bit of gameplay, but there is no way to actually tell what kind of game it is just yet. I'm actually hoping that we'll either see more or get the chance to play this game in 2022, as it appears that it's an XCOM-like game or maybe even an ATB-styled RPG, but who knows? All I know is this game is freaking beautiful. This title here is just as appealing as the last, as it has that light versus dark, real life versus void type of feel to it, along with that very stylish anime look as well. Currently under the temporary name Project Arisal, this game seems to be targeting those who are fans of the ATB active turn-based battle system. With gameplay shown off earlier this year and promotional materials starting to show up on Billy Billy, it's starting to appear as if this game will show up in 2022. So fingers crossed that we also receive a global version shortly after, if not at the same time. Last but not least, we have a very, very unique title here that I just recently discovered. It's called Ring of Fire Prometheus, and it's one of those action RPGs that remind me of older titles such as Secret of Mana, but with a more modern combat style associated with it. It's clear that the developers have something special in mind when developing this game, so I'm hoping that the game will arrive in 2022 with a global version plan because holy shit, this game 
looks absolutely fantastic. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and found something that you liked. If so, feel free to either scan the barcodes in the video using the TapTap Tap mobile app to pre-register or use a link in the description. If you did enjoy and want to support the channel, please like and comment with your thoughts and opinions as well as subscribe to show support for the growth of this channel. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay chaotic. Peace out everyone.